Welcome Zoom friends just getting in and now welcome to my growing retinue of YouTube friends. Nice to have you in if you're zooming in live stream. I'm sorry. If you're live streaming in on YouTube, maybe you're watching it recorded, but we're all gathering together. And we're starting on the back for golly, four or five more minutes. If you're part of my yoga tribe, Upward Spiral Yoga, Monday night practice, whenever you do it is a little more active, a little more friskier for health and strength. Hi, Looney. Looney likes to show up for the start of class because I've trained him with cat treats. So you guys hang on. I'm going to go get some cat treats for the cat. Hey, swallow once and circle your jaw around. Kitty, 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 kitty. Good, let's move our breathing mat down more toward our belly button now. Good. Are you relaxing nicely? Are you breathing from your belly button? You guys are all relaxed and I'm all agitated. I just had to feed my outdoor cat as well. So it's a collision of cats. I can't let the two meet. But you guys got two more minutes. Start to breathe what you feel and feel what you breathe. Good. Now that we've accessed our feelings in yoga, they call that pranamaya kosha, the feeling or emotional or breath layer of our body. Take the biggest inhale that you can. Exhale, let it go. We are calm and peaceful souls. Okay, wiggle your fingers and toes, circulate some feel goods around yourself. Swish your tail around like my cat. Good, arms up to the ceiling, lace your hands up over your head and stretch out really long, especially now that it's warmer, you got a little more taffy, a little more gumby in you. So stretch out, put a happy grin on your face. The brain follows the face, so sometimes your brain will uh, be convinced by your face that things are going swimmingly. 
Good, hug your knees in, roll around on your back like cats do. Knees in, rolling around on your back. It gets you moving. Ninety-eight percent of life is just starting. If you start something, then you're well on your way. Other way on your back. Good. Let's roll up together, shall we? Happy Monday, April 1st. If you're watching this recorded, it's April 1st, 2024. If you're watching it live, it's right now. My Eckhart Tolle wristwatch says now, now, now. This is Looney. He's having a great day. He's been outside for a good deal of the day. I had to go to school today. I got to go to school. And by the end of my piano class, which is too hard for me, I was actually crying. I actually cried in class. It was after class, but I had a moment I broke down in tears because it was just, uh, it was just, I got put in a class that's too hard and I just decided to have a good cry. So we've had a varied day here. We're eager that it's Monday and we can do some frisky yoga. If you haven't been to the channel before, please like and subscribe just for this. This is now 15 pounds of Monster Mountain Puma, and he's the best cat in the world. Just took, a, just took another swing at me. Okay, you go over here. You can have a cat treat over there. All right, let's chat Om together. Big inhale. Om. Okay, God, love, source, infinite, whatever you like to be called, with all respect, oblation, and adoration, give us the perfect practice tonight that we might thrive and prosper. All right, let's start on our feet, because it's a Monday thing, and we're going to do it. We're not getting out of this. We're going to do the deal. Up on your feet, kitty cats. And make sure you got yoga blocks. You can get them on Amazon. They can be delivered by 5 a.m. tomorrow. Get the big ones like mine. And drop your head. Pull the pin out of your hair. I tried to hide the cat treats underneath my phone. He's knocked the phone over. I can't stop him. He's a force of nature. Pedal your heels. Oscillate your buns. Drain your brain. Hey, more Zoom people in class. Good to see you. We're just starting. Just getting the engine going. First forward fold. Lift both heels. Bend both knees. Look forward. We are doing push-ups tonight. Exhale. Deep in one, two, three. Good. Arise up. Boy, that was effective to try to fight, hide the cat treats underneath the phone. That worked for a 50th of a second. Good. All right. Now, legs are legs out, arms out and right leg left. All you got to do is start. That's what I've learned. Start something. All things start at the start. First things first, just kicking it. You might be thinking, is he was he lying about crying in piano class today? No. Class was over, everybody had left, but I just had a good breakdown. I can't figure it out. I can't figure out uh, inversions in figured base. Just couldn't get it. Three, two, one. All right. If you're a piano playing yogi and you're watching on YouTube, leave a comment. Bend your knees, hang your arms, swing your arms with your eyes closed, swing it out. Looney's like, there's some more cat treats underneath this phone. I'm going to bite this phone. He's biting the side of my phone. He's gnawing on my phone. Swinging it out, getting out the old crap. Hey, cat. Two, three, 
two, one. Good job. All right, now our feet are gonna be hip distance apart because our hips are hip distance apart. We're gonna roll it out a little bit. This is the one where you sink down and you kind of squish back up. I like really sinking into my flat feet with my knees bent. That way my Achilles tendon and my lower calf muscles get activated. And then as I roly poly back up, I push my hips forward and that keeps me young, springy and resilient. Three of my favorite qualities. Three, two, one, yoga inhale up. Legs out, arms out, arms behind your back, four poofs. There's a magic in starting, isn't there? The great yoga sage Pantanjali has a great quote from 2300 years ago that says, when we start a great endeavor that's inspired by God or love or your highest wisdom, a whole host of natural resources and helpers come along to collaborate with us and we find a whole new capacity for life that was missing before. It's such a beautiful quote. Start anything that's inspired and you're well on your way. One more. Poof. Lace your hands behind your back. If you live by that principle, you never get old. You just keep living in more and more interesting projects. Head and butt down on the floor. Of course, you might say he's crazy by saying you never get old, but old is a experience. Inhale, look forward. You don't have to. Exhale, head and butt on the floor, especially if you get your head and your butt down. Arms all the way over. Inhale and come on up. Release your arms. Lace your hands up high. Turn your toes in and your heels out. Push the sky up. Excuse me while I kiss this guy. And first side bend. Inhale up this way. Plus, I just got off the drum kit for an hour doing syncopation, which is very complicated. Release out. Good, you guys. Now, left foot forward. Turn on to your right toenails. One, three, four. I'm in musical boot camp for about two years now. I think about five more years of musical boot camp, and then I'm going on tour. Other way, one, two, three. Music is a yoga. A yoga is any system or activity that leads to the coordination and alignment of all of our capacities. Seven, eight, sink into your feet. Close your eyes. guy what you got little piece of cellophane don't eat that sink in lower don't eat that don't eat that good come up and out right foot forward left toenails i think i know what kind of what it's like to have a kid now not quite but you love them and feed them and give them treats and then they take a swing at you six seven eight other way two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sink into your feet. This is so good for your ankles. And when your ankles are resilient, springy, and strong, you can go places and have fun. Really, you found the piece of cellophane, huh? Dude, dude, swallow. Okay, he ate it. Well, we'll see what happens. Drop your chin, take your head around. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way, I thought I was getting a little girl kitten. Maybe grow up, be six, seven pounds, dainty. Mm. Man plans, God laughs. Five, four, Three, two, good. Relax your head down for 20 seconds. Aim your attention down into your body. I wonder what happens to a cat when they eat a little piece of cellophane. It probably comes out the other end, I suspect. I'll find out. 
Just breathe, just be. Everything is always working out for us. What a crazy adventure life is. What a ride we signed up for. Hope you all had a wonderful, reverent, holy, and sacred Easter celebration, however you celebrate it. Good shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shoulders are especially tight over here in this body. Had a massive migraine headache before I went to bed last night and just part of the fun. Every time I get one, I just say, hell yeah, man, I'm going to put this one to good use. Five, six, seven, and eight. Good job. Hands. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Shake it out. Shake it off. Don't let no bad vibes accumulate on you. Get them out. Flippy flops. How did my life get so busy? I'm at the age where a lot of people are like, yeah, let's just retire and not do anything. I just cannot relate to that, not even the slightest. Faster, faster. Cup your hands at your heart and be grateful, happy, and anticipatory. Do you have a good sense of positive expectation for the future? There's nothing wrong with expectations as long as they feel good. It's the expectations that hurt that don't feel that aren't good. Good job, you guys. Inhale up, feet together. Palms up, up on tippy toes. That's when I know I've started a class when I get up on my tippy toes. It's like, okay, the S is getting real now. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, stay up on one. I do notice when I stagger into my music theory class two and a half hours on Monday and Wednesday mornings at the community college with, oh, 20 other kids that are about, I guess, 19 or 20, is I look way perkier than they do. They're all like asleep with their head on the desk. And I'm like, this is the most interesting stuff ever, smiling at the teacher. <laughs> teacher likes having somebody pay attention in class. Close your eyes, balance on your tippy toes. Hey, cat. Good, drop your heels, open your eyes, knuckles on your head, side bend left. We're tapping that valve of prana, life force, that will give you all the frisky you need to achieve those dreams. Inhale up to the right. Thanks to all my YouTube friends that are liking and subscribing. The subscribing is just really taking off. It's so gratifying. I'm so grateful when you like and subscribe. It gets the algorithm stimulated. Inhale up, you guys. Arms up. Pull hands down, forward fold, Uttanasana, bring your head down. Lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, deepen, maybe grab your ankles, get all the air out. Yogis call that Baya Kumbhaka. One, don't breathe, go deeper on empty, two, three. Rise up, yogis. Inhale. And I'm ready for an ohm if you are. Arms out behind your back. We're going to do a big inhale up the back. Oh, belt it out. Make noise. Ten seconds standing meditation break. Gather yourself. Find your center. Such a good thing to have. 
Good, drop your arms, inhale up, feet out wide, hands down on your hippies, toes in a little bit, heels out. We're gonna oscillate our buns. Seriously, if all you can practice with me is twice a week and just do this joint juice, even this 25 minutes of joint juice, you are golden. The stuff that comes after, for that's good, but this sequence right here, this is the thing. When I golf, I go through this sequence and can shoot in the 70s, my age, not the score. Other way, one, two, a shout out to my friend Todd. I won't be playing golf with him at Franklin Canyon this week, but maybe the following week. I don't like Franklin Canyon. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Inhale up, you guys. Regular inhale. Exhale out. Hippity hop your feet together for joy. Hands above your knees. Knee loops. One two three four five by the way if you're a youtuber we do a morning meditation every morning at 7 a.m stop on by it's really good go to upwardspiralyoga.com you'll see the link other way one or you can watch it on youtube three four five six i'm a huge proponent of meditation it's the art and science of connecting with Source, seven, eight, come on up, inhale. Good arms out to the side and then twisty arms as you lean left and right, keeping your legs firm, straight and strong, but getting our waistbands frisky. Oh, reach, reach, reach. Reaching is good. You got to aim at stuff and then reach for it. Side to side, inhale, arms out, release them all the way down, left arm in front of your right, palms in. This is good for your hands and for coordination. Pull your hands up to your chest, fingers forward, candle heads up on your tippies. Good, now I really want you to lift yourself up off the floor. I want you to lift yourself up with your own bootstraps. Abraham Lincoln is credited with coining that phrase. He said we couldn't do it. He was right. Way up on your tippy toes. We sure try sometimes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, two. Stay up on one. Close your eyes. Challenge yourself. Balance with your eyes closed on your tippy toes. Open your eyes, drop your heels, and this is called palm trees to the right. Good. Inhale up, friends. Palm trees left. The feet stay rooted like a palm tree. That's why they don't break or fall over. Palm trees like hurricanes. Inhale up, friends. Arms down, flip them over, forward fold, drop your head off. Lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward. That's long spine, spinal decompression. Exhale to whatever your forward fold is at this phase of your development. And if you keep the air out, you go deeper, dig the heels. Arise up, jogies. Here we go. Come on up. And exhale your arms out. This time your right arm goes in front of your left. Your palms go in, clapping. Pull your hands up, fingers forward, party hats, up on your tippy toes. This sequence is a, a sequence in yoga is called a vinyasa. This is the synthesis of the most effective joint juice movements. So you get the most bang for your buck. You don't want to waste your, if you're over 40, don't want to waste your time, man. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 12, 11, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now you might say, well, you're duplicating the tippy toes lifts. Well, the really important things are repeated a little bit and feet are incredibly important. Drop your heels, lean left. Side bends are repeated, but we always do a different kind. Inhale up. 
Side bends give us that spinal decompression that's so incredibly important. Inhale, arms down, flip over, of course, a forward fold or two, come on down. Now lift your heels, bend your knees to protect your back. Exhale and deepen into a forward fold. Don't breathe as you empty out. One, two, three. This is good, come on up. And exhale out. Now we're going to do one of the most important of all poses, the $3 pose. Inhale. It's called twisty squat. Parivrita Ukatasana. Pull hands down and twist down to your right. Tuck your left elbow outside your right knee if you can. If you have very long arms, you can put your left hand on the floor and tuck your right arm all the way up around behind your back. But this is the class for everybody, us mortals. We're amazing at other things, all of our jobs and all of our life skills. Bend your knees, sink your, sink into your ankles, heels down, lean back a little bit. Drop your chin, look straight down at the floor. How low can you go? Somebody's pushing down on your back. Three, two, one, drop your arms, come on up. Inhale after that, that really is good for respiration, isn't it? Exhale out. This time we'll get a big inhale for side B. Up you go. Prayer hands. Exhale, twisty squat down and to your left, right elbow outside your left knee. I like to shove my knees over to the right carefully. Tuck my right elbow outside my knees. Look down at the floor. Now, oftentimes the right knee will stray ahead of the left. So line them up, ankles, toes, knees, spine flat, chin drop, staring at the floor. And you're on the honor system for sinking in. You can always go a little lower. Lift your toes for bonus points. Wiggle them for super bonus points. Three, two, one, drop your arms. Inhale, come up for an ohm because we're a little breathless. Really good for you. Belt it out loud. Ohm. Good. What's a Monday every now and then without a good old fashioned horse? My friend Todd asked for this. He likes to make sure we get the strong stuff in. So this is the horse. You see a lot of this in martial arts. So feet are about, you know, that wide apart. How's that for an instruction? Your butt drops, knees out over your toes, spine straight up and down. If you can stand in this for five minutes, if you can stand that, then you're due for a long and healthy life. We won't do it for five minutes, but we can be down here for a moment and we can do some cool stuff with our arms. We can push forward. We can pull in and scrape our side. We can go way back here, sweep our arms around to the front, sinking lower. We can grab some gusto, pull it in. We can rub some gusto on our sides, whatever, whatever gusto is. Inhale, grab gusto, pull it in. When you rub your hands on your side, if you do this six, 7,000 times, it'll erode your love handles. Now we're gonna pull the hands in so we have yoga fists down here at our side, sitting down lower in horse, push out, go wide with palmar flexion of your wrist, circle, go way back here, brush your kidneys, push strong with palmar flexion of your wrist, go out wide, circle, Go way back here, brush, push, go wide, circle, way back here, brush, inhale up, widen out, straighten your legs. Now turn your feet parallel and just do a wide footed forward fold. The moon is in its last quarter. You might look up and see it. Inhale, look forward. 
The moon is heading toward new moon. You know what that means? That means the big eclipse. Are you going? Let's go together. If you want to go to Texas and look at it, send me a message. Okay, come on up. Inhale. Exhale out. We're deep in the mix now. Now bring your feet in together. Inhale. Here's the funnest part of the sequence. Arms out wide, palms open, arms pull back, right arm under, fold them up, bring your right knee up over your left. And of course, we're gonna include balance in our practice because we're probably in this class, most of us are in the over 40 set. So we're gonna keep our balance by doing Garudasana. So we're balancing on our left foot, our right knee is over our left. We lift up our right foot and balance solely on our left foot. And if you're a really flexible person, you put your right ankle behind your left ankle, and then you sink as low into your left leg as you can. And then this pose works magic on you. It's a very squeezy pose. It rings us out. Good, now just bring your right knee out in front, hang your arms out here. Very good balance on one foot. Left hand grabs your right foot behind your behind. Right hand comes down to the floor. Now it's challenging to try to touch your right knee on the floor to say the least, but try it by bending your left ankle as much as you can, sinking, sinking, sinking. Just for fun, take your left thumb and massage the middle center bottom of your right foot since we're down here. That's good for breath, for your lungs, for your heart. Good, now that we're down here, let's inhale and look forward. On exhale, we're going to twist our right knee all the way up to the ceiling and do a variation of Urdhva Prasarita Eka Padasana, standing split. If we were perfect, our right thigh would point up and our left leg would be straight. But this is progress, not perfection. Good. Now extend your right arm out to the side for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your right hand down, release your right leg back. Twist your left arm up to the ceiling in Parivrita Ardha Chandrasana. This is the one where you push out from your center in all directions. This builds self-expression, dynamism, enthusiasm, charisma. Lift up, open out. Good, bring your left hand down. Sweep your right arm open. This is the one where you open up like a movie screen. They're gonna show a drive-in movie on your right side. So open up as big as you can, lift your right leg, spread your fingers open. Good, bring your right hand down, re-grab your right foot with your left hand, stand up with perfect person balance. Good, now bring your right knee out in front again. Wave your arms to show that we're calm and peaceful souls. Yeah, we are. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. Then if you're really bendy, put your hands on the floor. And if you aren't that bendy, just put your hands on blocks. Bend your left ankle as much as you can. If you don't have blocks, order them on Amazon right now. Sink in. Ooh, my left calf, so barky. Bend that left knee. Keep your left heel down. More balance by bringing our hands into prayer now. It's a third part of the balance part of this sequence. One, two, three, four, five. Hands on the blocks, big inhale. Exhale, seriously fold over your left leg as deep as you can, perhaps bonking your head on your shin. Buns pull up, right big toe, left nostril. One, two, three. Repray with your hands. Come on out, foot down, inhale for Om because you're kind of breathless, really good for you. Oh, louder the better, bother your neighbors, they bother you. Close your eyes, 10 seconds. Peace be with you.
Okay, side B, really good for us. Inhale up, arms out to the side, palms open wide, pull your arms back carefully, stretch in our chest, obviously. Left arm under, fold them up, left knee over, folding ourselves up into squeezy pose, wringing ourselves out, left knee up over your right, right knee sliding underneath your left, elbows out, wrists away. Some people can go crazy low in this pose. It looks like they're almost down on the floor because of their incredible bendiness. But again, yoga for everybody. If you can lift your left foot and balance solely on your right, that's cool. And if you can slink your left ankle behind your right ankle, then you'll be doing, I guess, the formal pose. I do an informal version, obviously. Lower, chest out and away. You can bend your hips back, but chest up and out, length of spine. Good, now arms out, left knee out in front. This is marionette. It's good for just showing you can balance on one foot. Right hand grabs left foot behind your behind. Left hand comes down to the floor. And the super challenge of trying to touch the left knee on the floor, if you do this, once or twice a week, you will really maintain, sustain, and grow. Really bend that right ankle down, down, down. Big inhale, looking forward. On exhale, radical hip open twist to the left. Knee up to the ceiling, head all the way down to the floor. Push your right left foot into your left hand to open up your left hip flexor. Head down, one, two. Three, good, now slightly bend right ankle, right knee, take left arm out to the side, flamingo. One, two, three, four, five, left hand down, release your left foot, let it shoot back with a straight left leg and open up your arm to the right. This is twisty half moon, left leg lifts, right arm twists open, head pushes forward, great pose. Good, bring your right hand down. Now they're gonna show a drive-in movie on the left side of our body. So we're gonna turn our hips open and connected to your arms and legs is a big movie screen. Make it as big as you can, lift the leg, arm up. Everything pushes out from the center. Good, left hand down. Now, re-grab your left foot with your right hand. Stand up as best you can without letting go of your foot. And then bring your right knee out in front. Wave your arms. Trust the sequence. Left ankle over your right knee. Hands on the blocks. Squat as low as you can with your right foot flat and you will get all the benefits. You'll accrue all the rewards. Bend that right ankle. Right heel has to stay down though. Then eight seconds of prayer here in throne pose. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands on the blocks. Inhale, look forward, seriously bending your right knee. Exhale deep in one, two, three. Good job. We pray with your hands. We'll stand up in tree pose with ankle over our knee. Good, we'll put our foot down. We'll inhale for an ohm. Ohm. Prayer hands, 20 seconds. Silent meditation to Mark the end of the standing sequence. Hey, cat. What's going on, guy? Excellent. Okay, so I'm gonna tuck my shirt in real quick. Don't worry, I'll keep it appropriate. I'm gonna tuck it in because otherwise, my skirt will go up over my head. 
make any adjustments that you need. Have a sip of something if you want. Okay, kids, now the one reason I love these blocks is that we can do a downward facing dog and I like downward facing dog with blocks. I always admired the people with a deep downward facing dog who could really sink their chest down and arc their tail feathers up, straighten their legs and get their heels down. I've never been that guy, but that's never stopped me from doing yoga. I'll pedal my heels and I'll get as much stretch in my ankles as I can in this lifetime. Yes, I will. Good, now I'm gonna lift both heels, bend both knees, sink down a little bit, inhale. Exhale, gonna seriously straighten my legs and try to get my heels down. I can't, but you can. Good, let's inhale together. On exhale, step your right foot forward, bring your left knee down. Inhale up. On exhale, release your right knee forward and twist your torso to the right. Here's a cool pose, twisty lunge. Sink your hips, turn your chest way more to the right. Sinking your hips, yes? Strongly hook your left elbow outside your right knee. For unbelievable yogis, they can bring their left hand down to the floor, I'm not that person. I bring my hands into prayer, that stabilizes me. Now, release your right knee forward a little more. This is good right here. If you wanna play here, this is fine. Fold your left toes under and bring up your left knee. Hari Vrita Ajayanasana. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, bring your knee down. Inhale your arms up. Good, just hold this lunge pose, sinking your hips, chest up, signaling touchdown. Good, hands down on the blocks, hold left toes under. Step back, downward facing dog. Oh, that's a good sequence. Maybe that's a really easy sequence for 20 and 30 somethings, but for the 50s, 60s, 70s kids, man, that's a good sequence. You're strong when you can do that. Pedal your heels, big smile, working. Not comparing ourselves to nobody else. Don't compare yourself to who other people are today. Compare yourself to who you were yesterday. Inhale together. Exhale, step your left foot forward. Bring your right knee down. Inhale up. Good, now turn your torso radically to the left and extend your arms and plow your hips down. Turn more and more and more to your left, but sink your hips. That's the dynamic of it. Do what you can do, and that's all you got to do. Good. Now hook your right elbow outside your left knee. Long arm people, right hand on the floor. That's crazy stuff. Hands in prayer for us mortals. Left knee releases forward. Right toes could fold under now if you want. And lift up your right knee. Great pose for stability, strength, courage, determination, persistence, fun. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Right knee down, drop your arms. Inhale up. Just sink your hips all the way to the floor and lean back. You can even look up and reach all the way back and grab your right foot if you want, if you're a circus performer. Exhale your paws down to the blocks. Hold your right toes under. Step back, downward facing dog. Good, now we haven't, do, haven't done a chaturanga, which is a plank for a while, and it's entirely up to you. Plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog. That's just sinking your hips and lifting your chest. Very simple, why complicated? Good, back to downward facing dog. Good, then down to all fours. And simple cats and cows. Cool off with some catting and some cowing. Couple more. 
Good kids. Now right arm forward, left leg look back. Mick Jagger does this pose. He's 80 years old. He's coming in concert pretty soon. We should all go see him together along with the rest of the stones. Take your right arm back, grab your left foot. I don't know if Mick Jagger does this one. Keith Richards does. Now lift yourself up as much as you can, which may not be much, but it'll be something. Good, now release your right arm out to the side, left leg back, beginner pose, just come to your right elbow, this will be fine. If you want, bring your right shoulder, right ear down to the floor, left leg all the way up to the ceiling. If you can, left arm up, bit of balance, core strength, reach up, grab your ankle, and try to straighten your left leg now. Woo, this is fun. Yeehaw. Release, leg and arm up, and come on out, kitty cats. Cats and cows, three or seven. Good Mick Jagger pose, left arm, right leg. Point your dog, drop your chin, don't, don't crank your neck. Good, now reach left hand back, grab your right foot. Man, what a variable to see how high you can lift the leg. Some of us can't even reach back and grab the foot. That's okay. Just keep trying. Chest up, look up, knee up. Good. Now left arm out to the side, right leg back. It is sufficient if you're new. Just bring your left elbow down. It's a stable kind of twist, balance, forward fold thing. Left shoulder, left ear if you can. And then push into your right hand to bring your right leg up as high as you can. Sweep your arm up for balance if you want. Good. And then the pose, the fun part, reach up, grab your ankle. And contortionists could easily straighten their right leg now. It would be crazy, but I'm just a person. Lift up. Good release. Leg and arm back up. And come on out. Good. And we'll conclude this sequence with if upper body strength is the issue, just do a knee plank and support yourself on your arms a little bit. That'll be fine. Or as many push ups as you can do on your knees. Knee push ups are great for if you're not necessarily a Navy SEAL candidate. Good. All right. Then we're going to crawl back around into conclusion. Foot cramp, foot cramp, ow, 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 ow. Slightly warmer weather, a little bit of a foot cramp. Chant ohm with me. I'm breathless a little bit. Inhale. Om. Drop your chin, close your eyes. Let's enjoy about 30 seconds of reestablishing a moderated, temperate breath. Smooth and deep, calm and peaceful. All we had to do was start and then stay started and then everything works out. Okay, now my Zoom friends are very familiar with my finishing yin sequence to build calm and peace and if you're new to it, all you do is just extend your left leg out, cross your right ankle over the top. Now, if you can't fold your left shin under yet, just sit anyway cross-legged will be fine. But this is a very stable pose. It really seats the hips. And I, what's the modern spiritual word? It grounds you. It gives you that feeling of rootedness. And once my hips and my legs and my lower body grounds in, then I can get nice tall spine. Arms go out, 
And it might seem weird, but a lot of yoga is very weird. You bring your right forearm on top of your left. Then you make 737 winglets with your hands. And then you relax your hands, chest tall, shoulders relax, chin level, eyes closed, tip of the tongue on the roof of your mouth. And the eyes are closed and we go into a meditative absorb, absorbent receptive state. And then I'll say affirmations, which I believe are universally good, such as we are calm and peaceful souls. And everything is always working out for us. Good now hands up to elbows up here. Brings them up and the deliciousness of side to side to get the migraine out. Everybody has at least one funky thing with their body. So it's a, maybe if we consider that a gift rather than a curse, we'll, well, then it won't be a problem anymore. Good, we'll bring our arms down. Now we're gonna swim toward each other. We're gonna do a yoga mudra. I'm gonna grab my right wrist with my left hand behind my back. And I'm gonna massage my lower back a little bit. Again, this is yin sequence, calm and peaceful, designed to cultivate serenity. Now, if you're just sitting cross-legged and you're kind of miserable and you feel like you're being hurtled back, just sit and suffer productively. It'll open up. And if you can, fold your face all the way down to the floor. Now is the time for that. Don't bounce, don't, don't push, lean in to the pose, pay attention to the edge, drop your chin. And my favorite of all yoga instructions ever in my 50 years of doing yoga, stop thinking. Yoga, chitta, vritti, Narodaha, stop thinking. Want to hear it in Bible language? Be still and know. Kitty cats, come on up. And how about a nice little finishing twist as a result of inhaling up to get nice length of spine? Good, now let's go full cactus. Now turn your cactuses to the right as far as you can, and then further than that, left hand, right knee, right arm behind you, and twist your cactus. If you're a strong twister, take your right arm behind your back, reach all the way around to the front, grab your right shin and pull it in. But if you're in this tribe, this is fine. This is the most bang for your buck yoga tribe here. If you like this tribe, like and subscribe. Good kids, we'll come back to the center. I try to keep my infomercials within the class. Tasteful, right leg out. Good, now I like my left ankle over my knee and then to fold my right chin under. But if this was horrible, I would just sit like, you know, the best uh, cross-legged that you can, okay? This is fine. I like to pull back on my hi, how you doings a little bit, then I get more of that grounded feeling, because otherwise I tend to feel a little flighty, restless, irritable, so this calms my ass down, that's a abbreviation for acetabulum, my hip joints, arms out, good, and then I like to do Cheryl Crows sometimes, because then I, I quit taking myself so seriously. I mean, really, could the world do without me? How did the world ever go on for all the time before I was here? It certainly won't go on without me, right? So let's get some perspective. Good, now left forearm goes on top. Yank your shoulders up, suffering, relax your shoulders. Tall spine though, 737 winglets with your hands, relax that. Tall spine, chin level, eyes closed, tip of the tongue on the roof of your mouth. And what I believe to be universally universal ideas of high thoughts. We are calm and peaceful souls. And everything works together for good 
for those who love God or good, whichever way you like. What are some other good, deep, universal thoughts? Live and let live, first things first. There, but for the grace of God. Good, grab your elbows, bring them up. Good, get any remaining dents out of your migraine, get it out. Aren't you glad it's my grain and not your grain, side to side? And I don't even eat grain anymore either, it's not fair. Good, now bring your arms down, swim toward me, grab your left wrist with your right hand. Happy uh, kidney massage back here. Ooh. Good, now I'm gonna relax my arms, still holding onto my wrist. Gonna lengthen, I'm gonna get on top of my sit bones. And if I'm stuck here, I'm just going to slightly lean forward. And we're all going to demonstrate a different level of capacity here. You be you. I'll be me. Drop your chin. Stop thinking. Enjoy that beautiful pregnant void of existence where all thoughts come from before their thoughts. Oh, there's a cat treat. My cat missed that one. Good friends, come on up for finishing twisties. Cactus, turn cactus seriously left. When you've gone left as far as you can go, just go a little farther. Ooh, there we go further. Right hand, left knee, left arm behind you. And from the bottom up, ring thyself out. If you're tempted, and I'm frequently tempted by things, left arm snakes all the way around behind your back, slithers around like a boa constrictor, and grabs your left ankle like a capybara. Turn your eyes more to the left, even though your eyes are closed. Inhale here. Come out of twisty. Then we'll inhale up for our concluding ohm for the evening, which should be loud, bold, and proud. We're extending this one to the moon, you guys. Inhale. calm and peaceful souls who are now retiring into glorious Shavasana for five minutes. I bet you don't mind that at all and I won't bother you. I'm going to hold time and space. Make sure everything gets unwrinkled and uncrinkled. This gets a wiggle. Buns get a jiggle. Jaw gets a swallow.
Okay, beautiful friends, stay in the pose, stay nice and relaxed. Start to breathe back toward your body. Every practice releases great new energies, ideas, inspirations, and now we integrate them with our breath. Good. Feel your body weight back on the floor, refreshed, relaxed, invigorated, restored, renewed. All the rewards. Good. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Circulate the reward of class through your body. Love, light, and truth. Good. When you're ready, curl onto your right side. Take your time. Okay, my lovelies, let's sit up together nice and slow, keeping our eyes closed for our sacred conclusion. You know, there's a lot of ways to think about sacred, holy, and reverent. So many concepts, so many systems, but I think to experience it beats it all. Bring hands into the heart, drop your chin. Know that we're all one, expressing as individuals. All together we say, Namaste. Well, we did it. Thanks, YouTubers. Please like and subscribe. Also, there's a share button. It makes it really easy and um, it's great to share this. And before you know it, the yoga will be spreading around the planet to a planet that really needs it this year. So when you like and subscribe, you're helping out the whole, the whole consortium and helping me.